Well, UK police are investigating a viral video of a black man apparently being beaten up by officers. The footage, which has been shared thousands of times online, purports to show unidentified officers repeatedly hitting the man. A warning, you may find some of the video disturbing. <laughs> Well, after reviewing dash camera footage, West Midlands Police have now issued an update, insisting that it was the man who had attacked the officers first. On the 25th of February, officers were called by a doctor who was conducting a mental health assessment in Sandwell. During the assessment, the 38-year-old man became violent and assaulted the doctor with a metal crutch, so police were called. The full-body-worn video of the response shows the man attack the officers with his walking sticks, injuring three of them. Incapacitant spray was used and one officer appears to be using a distraction tactic and a full review of the circumstances will take place to decide whether the use of force was proportionate. All right, let's now bring in Wayman Bennett. Wayman is co-convener of the Stand Up to Racism organisation and also is Joint Secretary of the Unite Against Fascism Pressure Group. Good to have you on the programme, Wayman. Uh, your take first Very on the video. Time. Well, the, the video shows a serious assault taking place on, on a, a gentleman there. And um, it's the case that many deaths in custody have occurred, particularly with people suffering from mental illness, particularly if they're black, disproportionately. And um, there's an excessive use of force. I mean, the police have promised to tr change their training. But unfortunately, this is an indication of that it doesn't look like that. And nobody would want to see their relatives or anybody treated like that in terms of the prevalence of mental illness in Britain at the moment in that way. And I think this it looks like a cover-up by the uh, West Midlands Police about the activities of their officers. Does the police's response after looking through the full video that they had, that saying that the man attacked them first, also injured a doctor who was trying to help the man, does that change anything for you? I don't think it really changes anything because when we look at the death of Sean Rigg um, and several other people that had suffered from mental illness, what we see is the disproportionate force being used and the police, public servants, incapable of treating people when they're suffering from severe mental illness. Um, in fact, what they treat them as is somebody who's compass mentis and um, is in control of their own behaviour. And disproportionate force in those situations forces mentally ill patients to for form fight or flight uh, responses. Um, simple commands don't work. And the police time and time again say they understand this. But we've had 1,300 deaths in custody. A large number of those people suffered from mental illness and were received disproportionate uh, force by the police. And um, uh, there's kind of willful ignorance about this. How do you expect, what conclusions do you think either West Midlands Police or whoever it, the video goes to now in terms of, of higher up in the National Police Force, what conclusions do you, do you expect to come from it? Uh, to be perfectly honest, every inquiry into serious injury or death that involves the police, they um, have a look at themselves, they have an inspectorate is made up of police officers and they usually dismiss the, uh, dismisses the charges. And I think the danger of this is that it means the officers themselves know that they won't be taken to task for misbehaving um, as public servants in front of us and the high expectations we have of officers is lost. And to those families that have lost uh, loved ones as a consequence of this complete inadequate and, to be honest, incompetent way of operating, I think that they won't see um, significant change. I mean, particularly amongst the black community, there's very, very low confidence that anything significant will happen. Do and I think we're going to have to, to carry on trying to champion in those rights. Do, do you have any sympathy for the officers, perhaps, and, you know, sometimes there's women officers who are taking on bigger meals in, in, in a situation and they can't control them one-to-one -one and perhaps more force is necessary. What do you say when people defend their actions like that? You know, I was a teacher and I was assaulted inside uh, um, in a classroom by uh, younger teenagers. If I had beaten and severely injured those teenagers because I was trained in order to do that. I don't think people would expect that, even if I was assaulted as I was myself. What people expect is people are supposed to be highly trained, and there's many of them, to find a way of restraining people without simply beating them. 
um, that, and which there are. They are the, there are those methods which are available. Um, so I understand that no one wants to be injured. As a teacher myself, I didn't want to be injured. Right. What I do say is that those practices can lead to the death of the people they're supposed to be looking after. Because you're mentally ill, or which is documented in this case, it doesn't mean simply beating you or treating you in that way okay. is an easy solution.